strong front line. Renjo might end up picking something along the lines of a Baksha. Or a, I see a Baksha or Khalid potentially getting picked up here. See? They need another strong front liner. Oh. Oh. What? They, they're, it's not going to be the same as earlier, but... No way it's not. It's not no the way. same, but... That's interesting. Coach Mahmet, you've done it again. Okay. I wonder, I wonder if he's done it again. I, I don't want to speak too soon. Faramis being brought back. That's going... It's not going to track. That's going to be a lane. An off lane, Faramis? An off lane, Faramis. Renzio. Renzio, what are you doing? It seems like Omega has locked in their pick. And uh, Coach, why not? Calling it in. Let's put it all in. Put it all in. What did they pick up last? Harith or Esmeralda or... Chango. I don't know. Sir, uh, Chango. Chango would be best, I think. Yeah. Oh, oh, who did they pick? Who did they pick? Who did they pick? Who did they pick? Who Wait, they pick? we heard it. Okay, it was a Harith. All right, it is a Harith. Harith or <laughs> Chango or Esmeralda. There you go. Okay, all right. They wanted someone who can scale. Start of the fight because there's going to be a second win here for Execration. The thing I'm worried about the most here is the interaction between the Faramis and the Alice. Because we know how much uh, lifesteal Alice can get. And that might be... That's their response to, okay, we don't have the second uh, frontliner to really hold. Like the chunky frontliner. But we have the Faramis to give us that second chance. We have the Alice who'll have lifesteal and she'll be able to sustain uh, during the fight as well. So, yeah, it's the same thought as picking up as a, a strong frontliner. Except this time, their approach is, okay, we're going to keep coming back. We're going to come back and free fight this out again. Uh, one of the things I'm worried about here in the lineup of Omega are their lack of big burst in the late game. Uh, they do have the Harith uh, as a late game answer, but the burst is much better for extra creation. Mm -hmm. uh, the Dora scales really well. Then at the same time, their entries can get in absolutely messed up. Yeah, better, better death bushes. Yeah, better death bushes. They're, the entries of Omega can get messed up here by the second scale, especially if it bounces to all the members of Omega. Oh, it's, it, it's tough. Like I'm seeing strengths on both sides. Omega can end this somewhere around the mid game, but Execration, if they dish it out all the way into the late game, it's also going to be tough to pull off. Uh, they don't have something along the lines of like a Marksman. They're both very cool down base. Yep, and if anything, Execration, they, they could just blow it like they did in game number four. Mm -hmm. They had a solid lineup then, and they had great burst, but if they've missed their window and Omega becomes, again, the aggressor the whole time, mm -hmm. then that could be trouble. Oh, Ejector on the Toshi. Toshi's not going to survive. Down he goes. Etomax, this is what we were looking for. That burst. I like the final blow by KLVJ. The king fails to find one. They're happy to have that kill. First blood to Execration. Oh, but bad start there for Toshi. Hopefully, this doesn't mean Omega are going to start turtling things out. But again, that was just the first kill. They can still find opportunities. And Hajiji gets the information. He's probably going to be playing... Uh, Omega are probably going to play more for Turtle Steals. That's uh, that's usually their thing w when they have the Ling. They don't uh, take the fight right away. They'll mm -hmm. just, okay, make sure Hajizi has room to potentially steal yeah. it. You put the work in, we'll finish it up. Yeah. Good delay there by Chaknu though there on the orange buff. Uh, delaying Hajizi taking... Mm -hmm. it's, like a, it's a potential to just come in, sweep, and be in effect. Okay. Turtle take. Let's see what happens. Let's go. Chaknu! Oh! Ejector onto the orange! Displacing Hajizi, giving him a uh, difficult time uh, with this uh, orange buff. It's just the same both team just to let go. Like, yeah. n none of, nothing, nothing for us here. <laughs> like, you want the turtle? I don't want the turtle. Oh, you don't want the turtle? I don't want the turtle. Oh, like a, like, <laughs> yeah. a, like a Tundere anime character. Yeah. It's not like I want the turtle or anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Reggio and Keji, again, uh, Faramis matchups. Gonna be interesting to see. Kaku Destiny already picked up there by Kelro. Less than three Ooh. minutes, right on schedule. Quicker than fast. Mm hmm And Execration, I think they also decided to... Uh, stop that attempt on the turtle because they saw that uh, Toshi was being able to freely farm up in the bottom lane, so that forced Keller to go back. I think execution are more confident to fight the Keller's around. Oh, but they started! Yep, that's uh, like the final blow used up by Kel VJ. Retribution on point Heath. Unable to uh, distract him long enough for Hajizi to sweep in. And I think Hajizi understood. Like, he, he let it go. He said, you know what? My retribution is off. I uh, used it for the purple. 
we'll give them this one. But just the same, again, we're hoping that this doesn't stop him from playing the link game he needs to play. Raptor Machete already picked up there by Hajizi. Still relatively on schedule for everyone. Chapnu, great turnaround, but he is there. Blood Flow wow. just misses with the Imperial Justice. Toshi yeah. still survives, Ooh. but Kelra finishes right there and there. Not much Heath could have done. Mr. Fundamental just watched. Missed it by a pixel, but I really liked what Omega were trying to go for there, what Heath was trying to go for there. Chapnu could have been punished. Just an unfortunate miss there on the Imperial Justice. And not even a flicker spent. Yeah. Just well placed. Wow, execution is on something else. Reptar, when it comes down to game five, you can never count out the boys from Cavite. Yep, they they took down Aura PH in the in the last game of the three game series. Toshi bursted played. down and that's what you need to do right now of your execration. That is the insurance policy of Omega. Man, it's looking like a U2 Max game, man. Yeah, U2. U2. Oh, you don't want to do that. Yeah. 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 Let, 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 let that sink in. <laughs> While this sunk. team fight is waiting to just blow up in Omega's face, that's going to be Hajizi failing to secure his own purple. And that's one taken out. Etomas blasting heat. Tempest of Blade from the back lines. Chapman KLVG is still alive, Hajizi and Curtis is so low. Kelra goes for the blood flow, fails to find his target. Kenji with oh, the grab, grab double. onto the Faramis and he falls. Could have been really bad there for Omega. Could have been a one-sided team fight, but execration got caught out there. Great response by Omega. Hajizi should be happy that he didn't fall. He almost got a kill on KLVJ, but a timely rotation by Kelra stopped that. Now Chaknu uh, going for the Kurdish Mask right away. He really, really is hungry to end this game as soon as possible. That will empower his rotations and the rotations for his entire squad as well because of the buff. Yep, just make sure that when he catches someone, it'll result in a kill. Yeah. And I think execution they have the right mindset. Uh, we get kills, then we convert. Mm -hmm. It's hard to convert. It's hard to get sneaky around the link. Mm -hmm. And now Omega... Uh, it's, it's a tough thing that they have to juggle. Are we going to try to prioritize Turtle or helping out Toshi? They don't want to trade out the Turtles, but yeah, Execration have their eyes set on They might be able to take this. Yep, second Turtle of the game going over yeah. to Execration. Electo final blow, not shy to use it here. It's definitely what they needed to speed up the process. And just like that, uh, I'm not sure if Hajizi has his purple just yet. No, he still doesn't. So yeah, again, yep. that's one of the, cl the key uh, reasons as to why Omega is just not present just yet in team fights. Now, Ejector onto one, forcing on the Tempest of Blades. Chakru still alive. Flaker out. Already used up. The Imperial oh, Justice. And Omega's just scrambling. Yeah. I think this is where Execration exactly wants him to be. Yeah, and that's why they're very happy that first uh, pick Jawhead is really disruptive to the farm rotation of Hajizi. And that's going to be the middle tower now taken down by Execration. That's going to be opening up invades into the jungle of Omega, which means it's going to be even harder for what? Hajizi to get his buffs. Three clock of destinies, baby. That's a lot of lollipops on the Eudora, on the Alice, and the Faramis. Reptar, given this uh, spread of items on the side of Execration, would you say it's just a matter of time? Yeah, it is. It's... Yeah. All right. So let's see how this team here is going to make use of those stacks again. Every few seconds, they get a buff on... Uh, their, their stats and the longer it goes it just snowballs again this is just building on the snowball that execution has started they've got a two uh, turret lead two kills lead and about a 4,000 gold lead so far and now they're gonna try to get one oh, oh, fall to Chakru was that a lone kill was that a 1v1 now Etobox in trouble Kurtizi making him use up his flicker and the rest of his bravest fighter Hajizi gets the final blow finishing off here comes Kill VJ. The king has arrived. Like the final blow. Tempest of Blades here by Hajizi. Oh, oh Kelra! Gets slain by Dwayne. Kelra in the back lines with the own finishing off the machine. Oh. And they're not even done yet. Reptar, they're deep and going. Kirk Easy. Nice use of the bravest fighter. Second half is still alive. Imperial Justice in by Heath. Pinning down underneath the turret. The Omega. Coalition is here for the comeback and Kelra falls. That fight way on, went on way longer than anyone expected, but all of that, while all of that was happening, Rengio was just really pushing that top lane down in the second tier tower, top side for Omega. 
has fallen. Definitely MVP for that specific sequence was Kelra's Alice. Timely entry, always getting the blood off, uh, off just in time, getting the key targets. The damage was absolutely crazy. Win rate percentage, it's leaning heavily towards execration. 62.5% and counting. A uh, good amount of that number is hedging off the fact that Hajizi is still on point. Hajizi hasn't been uh, the, the number one target. He's sitting at 1-1-1. One, one, and one. Uh, if it was actually him sitting at the 0-4-3 and three Toshi is finding himself in, then yes, that number for execution would have been larger. So we still have here the chance for Omega to come back around, and it's going to go off of Hajizi sooner than later. But if this game lasts longer, then it's going to be on Toshi. Yeah. Omega... They're going to try to get the buffs for a little bit more farm, and then eventually they're going to start splitting oh. the map. But then Renzo has... Renzo and Keller are covering the side lanes incredibly well. Actually, the entire Execration squad is covering the side lanes really well with how they're rotating. And this is so curious. Reptar, all right, in this 10-minute game, let's just round it up. In this 10-minute game, Renzo hasn't joined many team fights. Mm -hmm. He's sitting at 0-1-1! Yeah. He is... He has, he has isolated himself in that lane, and it is, he has made it his life mission to just push in. And this is the first time we've seen him actually kind of move around. Yeah, he's just working on the lanes, man. And I mean, Faramis has a um, really great wave clear anyway. So I think that's what Omega are, are slowly starting to feel. Or maybe they just realize like, oh yeah, he's a crazy split push monster. I guess. And yeah, he pulls it. He, that's already the Imperial Justice spent for him. Shaknu forcing it out with the one ejector. Kill VJ, he's in trouble. Toshi wants to bite in. And oh, he gets, gets his it. man. What a shutdown. Kill VJ a little bit too eager to get that tower, but that's the first death onto Kill. They have to be careful. Every kill they give onto that Harith means that Omega increases their chances of being able to turn this game around. This is a fantastic lead by Execration. You have to be careful not to blow it. Omega are going to try to stop it. Genji with a split split. He's going to go the far way into the back. Ethomax oh, with the attention. flicker. Wow. Trapped here by the Zaman Force. Kurtizi gets the kill. Now they're going to continue. This is where Omega wants him. This is how Omega wants to take this fight. Imperial Justice pinning down two members of Execration down in that bush. And just like that, Omega's happy to get just one. And I think if they continue this, Raptor, if they continue this maybe two or three more times, they're going to get into the 15-minute mark in great shape. Like, they could go for a turnaround. Yeah, and I, I like one of my favorite things that happened in that match in the last fight there was Kenji committed the flicker while he was on split split. And I thought, wait, you overshot it. He overshot that flicker, but then it drew the attention of Execration. It split them, which is how Omega opened up the kill onto Itumax. Mm -hmm. He split it up and with purpose. There is the Imperial Justice onto Renzio. He doesn't mind. He's happy to have it. I think he uh, already pulled off the uh, Cult Altar, and it was for nothing. It was just both teams kind of just, you know, playing footsies. Mm -hmm. And Omega has their feet back, entire body against the wall right now. A lot of pressure coming in from Execration with the split push that they have. Alice and Benedetta roaming the map well. Renjo, you can add to that, has been clearing side lanes incredibly well as well. But Heath has info. Renjo has info. Let's see who will be able to take this Lord if Ooh. either team decide to commit. All right. Something to note. Toshi already dropped his Zaman Force. In mm. comes Chuck. No more. Uh, unstoppable Force already used up. Now Renjo is here. Heath jumping back and forth. Oh, they can't pick this fight. They don't have votes. Yeah, they know that they can't overcommit. It's a close game. Damage on the side of Execration won't be too crazy. They or close the gap. Game. Yeah, but they close the gap. Omega can fight this. You just have to be careful. They have to be careful of Keller's entry. Oh, purple stolen away from Hajizi. That's and some bad. Of the force. They let go. Unfortunate there. No purple buff on that lane. Choked out. Yep. And Execration can continue to play this. He can just keep keep clearing the waves that come in. Play chicken a little bit with the Lord. Reset it. Stop Omega from coming in. There's an entry by Kelra. Oh, Chaknu. He tricked Toshi. He said, Toshi, look at me. Look at me. And Kelra comes mm -hmm. in. Oh, and as you mentioned earlier, the perfect Oz to keep Toshi in place. He knows that the Purify was on cooldown and he got his man. Yeah, and Toshi has had... A terrible experience in this game. Tough. Execration shut him down incredibly well early on with the rotations. And that is a lord 
marching with Execration with a 4K gold lead as a Holy Crystal gets picked up by Alice. Athena's shield picked up by Chaknu. The magic damage coming out from that Harith will be even less, uh, even more or less effective now at this point. Omega are gonna have to pull a miracle out of their hat to stop what will be or what will most likely be a devastating push by Execration. Worst case scenario, base gets broken. But for me, the bare minimum that will happen here for Execration is that they'll be able to take down all the remaining towers left. Ooh. Bold, but I kind of agree that that might actually happen because this is in no shape for Omega to pick a fight. Uh, the only way that they might win with a free pickoff is if Execration makes a mistake. Nice ejector onto Kenji, but at the cost of quite nothing they actually forced out the split split and execution is happy to have that i think that's all according to plan yeah one tower down already omega doing their best to make me eat my words they'll be able to defend that lord but no the one turret destroyed two inhibitors remaining standing here all right omega forcing themselves to defend Alt altar set up oh wow what deterrence if you kill us here you will regret it that's what execution's saying yeah and yeah. they take it all! Reptar! You were right! I hate that I'm right, but oh, this could be it! Oh, Chakno with an ejector on the Toshi! That's gonna be the seven for set in with the Electro final blow as well by the Kel first. DJ, the King, Kelra, winner Chakno! Kelra! Plus the old the, the turnaround! Curtisi falls! It's a four-man defense! Can Omega hold on? Will they will try! They have no towers left, they haven't broken down any! Oh no, Mega! Execration might be moving forward here, Leo! Caught Alter set in by Renzio. They're going into the, the back damage. lines. Etobax punished a little too deep, my friend. Omega still in it. Execration back off and Omega hold on. And look at the map. All blue for Execration. No towers broken by Omega. Win rate percentage, despite all of that, is still at a relatively healthy 67% for Execration. Omega's at 31, 33. The numbers, the machine behind it all says there's still a bit of hope here for Omega. I love the numbers, though. It, yeah. it kind of makes sense. Like, I agree with it because given that, yes, Omega is wiped out completely of structures mm -hmm. and they haven't pushed a single turret, yet... They have what? Close to a 30 something percent chance of winning. It's because that's how the machine works. And that's what these percentages mean. You can't count out execration from a single wipeout, resulting in a sudden and swift finish. So I think that's what we're looking for for Omega. Yeah. Looking at the items right now, it's locked in, looking really good here for execration. The Truncheon, Divine uh, Glaive, as well as a Necklace of Durant, picked up here uh, by Renjo. What else is going to be building up in the end? No antique harass yet for Kenji, so the bit of physical damage coming out from Kel BJ and Chaklu will be not will be will be reduced as much. I think he ended up prioritizing the organ on the Phoenix Shield first because of the amount of magic damage on the side of Execration. He's feeling that. Kenji here eight half a dozen ults. I don't know where the extra one came from, but he uh, gets one and now another ejector. Oh, he so he is, is in trouble. He gets down. picked off. We're far from TikTok timers, about three minutes, but just the same. This could it's be a it. clutch pickoff. No Renzio tag. zoning them out. He has the cult altar here. Blood flow by Kelra. Omega, this is the defense of a lifetime. This is for tournament life. Ladies and gentlemen, another flow. A TikTok play! A TikTok play! Kenji gets hit! Kenji survives! But here comes Kelra! Oh, split, split, keeping him alive! Renzio could be punished. Zaman Force He's here down. by Toshi, but the cult altar! It's the cult altar! Keeping them up. Renju looking for the pull. Kenji takes a fair amount of damage. A lot of damage, actually. But he, has, he holds on along with Omega. Omega are still alive, but it will be incredibly difficult for them to contest this Lord. It is going to be a 5v fight if both two teams go for it. Heath is back on here. Execration are looking to potentially reset this if needed. They're looking for the minion waves, but Execration want it all. Execration have their eyes set. Will Hajizi be able to pull off a miracle steal? This is going to be the Lord that either ends the game for Omega or keeps them 
in it. I like a final blow used up by the oh, KL DJ. The King, he gets it. Tempest of Blade takes down Renzio Can real quick. Play? And to Max takes two down. down. Two for none so far. And there you go, Chaknu. Chaknu he's looks down. low. Toshi slays him. Only two defenders left. Kelra, he's getting taken down here. Heat looking for one. Can he find it? He gets it. The Cometic Lance. Gets it down. There's only one more. The King stands alone. The King oh, stands that's alone. The boss. And this is where we see the 30% for Omega. Reptar. Have it, Leo. Back in the action. Three, two, one. The King stands. He bought his immortality. Toshi couldn't finish the job. They have to go through two turrets. They don't have a wave. I think it's safe to say Execration is still in this. Yeah, they're still in this. They have a Lord, too. They have a Lord. I actually thought that the Omega were able to break down the turrets already because of how far he yep. uh, chased yep. uh, Keldra, but no. At this point, the game is even Stevens. Imagine this, if this was TikTok timers, then yes, maybe it would have been over yeah. for Omega. For, for Execration, I mean. Not over. Just yet. It's game five in the lower bracket, but just like our entire playoffs, it feels like every game we've been watching is a grand final. But that's what it means. For these two teams. That's what it means for all the teams. For all the teams. Even for those we have said goodbye to, all of them really could have had it. Yeah. All of them really could have gone straight into the finals, but just the same. That's how the playoffs works. That's how the MPL is. Only one may stand. Only one champion. And just like in this best of five, in this sudden death game, only one will walk away still in the bracket. That zero... On top of the Omega name, no turrets broken just yet. No lords even. No lords even. That last team fight could have been their chance because it was, again, a scramble. It was um, a mess. <laughs> and still, uh, I love the, the presence of mind uh, in Kelvice showing uh, his veterancy despite his young age. Again, this is a, a young man of, of, of barely 16, 17, and he's still was able to find it in him to, to, to retribution uh, that Lord. Yes, and somehow. again, just shows you what a two-time champion's made of. Yep. He holds on for Execration, and Execration still holding. Toshi picked up the Blood Wings. Give him a little bit more chance, a little bit more time to deal the damage he needs to deal with that Harith. Now we saw, despite them being behind earlier, Execration, if they take a fight where they're all together, Omega has a chance of turning it around over their heads. The damage coming in from the Lapu Lapu, the Harith, even counting the Ling as well, could be a lot too much to deal for Execration. X Factors we're looking for here, of course. We haven't felt that much of it yet. The Cult Altar bringing back the members of Execration yeah. from that Faramis. It's always just been used as a deterrent. Like, it's yeah. always been, all right, try us. Let's yeah. see what happens. And, I mean, the 032 line on Renzio kind of says what exactly it has done. It, mm. it, it's more as a deterrent, more of a tool to scare Omega. But Omega's known how to deal with it. Again, surprising how fast they've evolved. Yeah, how fast they've adjusted. He's built for damage, but he's felt very much of a utility piece for Execration, which isn't a bad thing because mm -hmm. he was really helping p split push the map for Execration and making it difficult for Omega to split it themselves. Yeah, more, more of an asset still yeah. than a liability. Yeah. Uh, let's see if Renzo will get the information here. A lot of movements going down to the bottom lane. But I think both teams are just jockeying for position. Oh, ejector onto one. It's Heath that's going to be a scary experience for Mr. Fundamental. <laughs> Definitely could have been one for the books, but Kenji here split split. He's going to try to draw some ults. And yes, you mentioned it. Hajizi is without his purple. Execration time and time again. Not been allowing Hajizi on that lane to get that purple buff. Another Lord spot. So Mega will look to push out the lanes while Execration will look to use the time they have while Omega is split pushing to get the Lord. 22 minutes, 25 seconds. It's game number five. Last matchup of the day. The third day of the MPL playoffs. And it's just going to boil down to one moment, like one mistake. Yep. On either side, honestly. On either side. On either side. We are in TikTok timers. So uh, another possible wipe or close to it by Omega could be what uh, yeah, grabs them this game one more time again from, from out of the crutches of 
nearly sure defeat now. Execration starting off this Lord. What could be the entry point for Omega to go for this? Hi, Jeezy. Hi, Jeezy will need to buy this time here to really find that perfect opening. Omega are giving him all the information that he needs. With all the movements going in the map, it really seems like we're going to break out of the 5 versus 5 team fight. There we go. Kill VJ coming in. They do reset the Lord. Smart they reset. see Kenji. Kenji with a split split. Recovering like it's nobody's business. And just like that. Hi, Jeezy, the machine. More, oh. more on just splitting the map, clearing waves, and he has to accept this fat Reptar. He's not getting his purple. Nope. He's not getting the... the is this sweet yams? Sweet so, yams? Purple? Is that what Ube is? Uh, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's, that, that's, that's uh, what he needs right now to, to yeah. be able to, to contest this, to try and steal away the Lord from execration. And you know what? It, it's, it's more of just to get better timing. Right now, Chakna with perfect timing, ejector on the Heath. That's what? The 12th, 13th time that that's happened in this game? And maybe they've gotten kills off of that, maybe twice, but just the same. Just show you how these two teams are ready to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Like, you have, a, you have a threat, I have the answer. You have the threat, I have the answer. And this is a testament to how well they have prepared for this matchup. Kenji with the immortality and execution. Keep, keep, I feel like all of them have their eyes on the map as to where Haji is because they know they have waves creeping in and that Haji is the best option for, to take down those waves. So they always seem to like reset it when they see Don't see Haji again. We're all a fight! Another ejector popping the immortality and Kurt Easy able to get the Kurt hell out of Dodge. There's the Zaman Force Lord is at about what? Haji a fifth or sixth of his health. Down goes Kill VJ. Who gets the Lord? There's the Lord! Secure. Ladies and gentlemen, Omega has secured it. This could be the turnaround just like Chris Karab of Dashboard Confessional Sang, you have stolen my heart! Omega is still in this. They have a Lord. They do go for the trade. Oh. Three for one. But just the same, they have a great wave down bottom. It's all about the defense here, Reptar. Can they do it? Hajizi and Kurtizi will have to pull off a miracle here as Execration have their eyes set on ending it. They're gonna allow this Lord to push just a little bit more. Will they? Renjo on the way down. They're not gonna end it just yet. The match isn't over just yet. Let's see, they might just try to, here and now. Kurtizi with the bravest fighter, Kelra caught in. Tep is ablaze by Hajizi. Oh, they have to juggle so well. Yeah. They have to juggle so well. And so far, they are in it. Kurtizi popping the last of his ult. Gets caught in the by burst. Etumax's kit. Kill him! Kill! DJ is not on the map, but oh, Hajizi oh, is going to survive! <laughs> Able to get away at the last second from that Wait, throwing blood! There's three but here! Execration. There's three here! It's over! Ladies and gentlemen, Omega has been eliminated! Execration takes game number five. This winning moment is brought to you by Head and Shoulders. Flex it up, young blood! Execration!